Hey, what's going on everyone? Vasette here at Outdoors with V. Welcome to this episode. I just finished packing up the truck. Just said bye to the family. Today we are heading to some farmland out in the Blue Ridge Mountains here in Virginia. Looking forward to sharing this with everyone. With that said, let's get on the road. All right, guys, we're here at the campsite. I'm sure you saw that view behind me here. Before I talk about that, it is hot. It's like 88, 90 degrees, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead, and put my hat on. My head's burning up. But about this view, that's the Blue Ridge Mountains in the back there. Um, I had said earlier, we're gonna be camping in some farmland. Mostly, that's what you see here. I'm going to go ahead and set up camp, get some stuff out of the vehicle, and uh, I'll bring you guys back here in just a second. Talk to you in a bit. Let's go ahead and check out the campsite before we get started on setting up camp. You can see behind me here, we have a picnic table. That's always nice. That's considered a luxury right there. There's the view again. There are two cell phone towers here that belong to Verizon. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues with cell phone signal. There's the fire ring. Let me also say this guys, bugs are eating me alive right now. Whew, you can imagine that I've been running around trying to do all my film work and uh, they're all over the place. I need to go ahead and spray on another layer of bug protection bug spray and i'm gonna get my stuff out of the truck and we'll get started here in just a moment Guys, this campsite is awesome. 
I really, really, really love it. You guys can see my view back here. <laughs> Just stunning, right? It's so gorgeous. So these two items here, this is a new sleep system I'll be using tonight. You'll see that I have brought a ton of One Tigress gear with me. And that is because I love One Tigress. One Tigress is one of my favorite outdoor brands. Some of these items are new. Some of these items I've used before. So I'm actually gonna use the One Tigress Cosmeto 2.0. That is this guy right here. I'm going to put him up right now. This here is the One Tigress Skyena. These both are two person tents. And I've used this one, but this one I'll be opening up for the first time right now. It does not come with a footprint. However, I come prepared. All right, guys, we're good to go. That again is the One Tigress Cosmeto 2.0. Love the color. Uh, I picked this up for about, I think it was 180, 190, something like that. So not bad, definitely a good, uh, good price for One Tigress, uh, budget friendly. I keep dropping my sunglasses. Jeez. All right, so the tent is set up. The sleep system set up. And now I'm gonna enjoy this sandwich from Wawa. <laughs> On the way here, I picked it up. Fast, easy, simple. I won't make you watch me eat the whole time. Just this one bite. Forgot my napkins. It's got jalapenos, bacon, tomato, lettuce, American cheese, turkey, ham, and I think that's it. Very good. Oh, and it's on um, multi-grain, whole grain, whole grain bread. So I got some jalapeno kettle cooked chips. I'm going to enjoy this for uh, a little bit and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, just finished my sandwich and we're all settled at camp here. I want to go ahead and go over the kind of gear 
that I like to bring on these truck camping adventures. So I'll start with this small tarp here. You guys heard me talk about this tarp in my first adventure, but basically this tarp serves as like a, like a mat for shoes, wet shoes, dirty shoes, shoes in general. But if I need to put this on the ground, if I need to kneel on the ground, something like that, and the ground's too wet, too dirty, I use this. Um, other uses for this as well could be collecting firewood, um, you know, putting it in my tent for anything that's really wet, like, uh, like my rain jacket or something like that. So multiple uses for this small tarp. So it opens up pretty well here. It's a good size. So I always bring this. I got this from a cheap Coleman tent, like, I don't know, years ago. So it came with a Coleman tent and that was the best part about the Coleman tent, actually. So next, uh, I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just going in the order of where my stuff is inside of these containers. So this is my Night Eyes lantern. And I also bring another lantern by Lux Pro. I always have two. One for camp, one for inside the tent. It's always a good idea. Next thing, my fire kit. It's a one tiger's pouch. It has everything you can think of. It has a canister platform. It has a igniter. So if you're having issues with uh, igniting your stove, it's got a small spark in there. You probably can't see it, but you click this button here and there's a slight spark and the Stove goes up in flames. Also have my flint. Always have that. Some fire starter from Bigfoot Bushcraft. A lighter. Matches. My pocket bellows for keeping a fire going. With some fire cubes as well from Duraflame. I got toilet paper. Some wet ones, alcohol wipes, extra cordage, and tent stakes, which the tent stakes came in handy uh, due to the fact that uh, One Tigers only gave me 10 tent stakes instead of 12. So I used my, um, I used uh, two from my set there. So hand saw, a small one. This is the Baco Laplander. This thing is very sharp. I love this thing. One Tigers tarp. Another tarp by One Tigers. This is, I think, 11 by 13 tarp, so much larger than the one uh, I just showed y'all a second ago. So this is my tech kit. So in here, I have all sorts of charging cords, power banks. I have my headlamp, I have my flex tail air pump. So that there, that's the tech bag. Tasmanian Tiger pouch. This is their biggest one in this pouch. Or kit I keep my coffee that's the coffee bag here um, that's <laughs> that's another Tasmanian Tiger pouch there I love these pouches guys they're awesome uh, this is just a standard no-name pouch I keep my spoons all that good stuff in there my kettle there's my kettle and my pot some more alcohol wipes oatmeal for tomorrow morning so this is the GSI outdoors cooking utensils so i have a spatula in there big old spoon and some tongs i got a cutting board here some fuel so you'll see that i have the isobutane fuel there at the bottom and then i have these two uh, butane canisters i have some rub slash seasoning for my burger later i got some beans in there first aid kit can't go camping without one of those some ketchup and some mayo for later my fan for the tent, just in case it gets too hot tonight. I got another tarp. Let's see, this is medicine, Advil, Tylenol. Um, let's see, um, Tums, you name it. Anything happens out here, if I need any type of medicine, you know, for whatever reason, this is the kit for that. And then this is my cook set. That's everything. It's all my gear that I brought to the table here. I do have more gear in the vehicle over there that I'll be going over here in just a minute. I hope I'm not boring you guys during this gear dump. Just wanna show everybody what I bring on these kinds of trips. I like to stay prepared, 
and in case any of you want to go out on a trip like this you know what to bring as well so i always bring two backpacks a big one and a small one i got a small one in the front there uh passenger seat i got a 40 liter in the front and i got a 70 liter back here the 40 liter is a rei 40 liter backpack it's an awesome backpack that's for light carry and then if i need to get out of dodge i use this bad boy here this is a decathlon 70 liter four class this thing is awesome actually pretty budget friendly as well for the money you can't beat it i have the spark stove by eureka you guys have seen me use that i think twice already really awesome stove got the Fisker's hatchet, extra change of clothes. I got some extra water here and some flip-flops. I got some water, three gallons over there. These pouches right here, these pouches have tools and extra lighters in them and cordage, in case you were wondering. Never ever go <laughs> to a campsite without your own toilet. This is the Luggable Lou. I bring this everywhere on truck camping adventures. And let's just say I've used this guy once today. And uh, I was happy I brought it. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, other side of the truck here. This here is the Blue Yeti EB3A power station. I brought that just in case I needed some extra power. I do have my power banks, so if I need something more powerful, I have it. I have a 1,000 watt uh, power station as well by EcoFlow at home. Um, I didn't need all that today, so I just brought a smaller one. I believe this one is a 300 watt, if I'm not mistaken. I'll flash it on the screen if I'm wrong, so. Got my Leatherman multi-tool. This thing's awesome. It's got a screwdriver, a bottle opener, uh, clippers. Let's see, obviously two knives. Uh, a screwdriver, nail filer, scissors, a couple other cool gadgets in there. Uh, and this here is my waterproof rain jacket, rain pants. This, so this is a whole uh, rain protection outfit here by Tidewee. That's everything in the back. All right, going to the front here. This is the REI 40 liter backpack I was talking about. This is actually the Trail 40. Got my tennis shoes here. Got high top hiking shoes. These are the low top Merrells here that I have on, waterproof, Gore-Tex. Same thing here, waterproof. Now, I also usually bring my green elephant poles, but for whatever reason, I was telling the wife earlier, so mad, so mad at myself for not bringing them. I just forgot them. I just forgot them. I never forget them. I was really in a hurry this morning. Um, Should have took my time, but I forgot them. So no tarp tonight, but sun's going down. It's behind those trees now. It's starting to feel really good out here. The humidity is kind of dissipating and there's just a breeze. So guys, it's starting to feel really, really good out here. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some firewood uh, I'm going to spend some time doing that, so uh, let's get to work.
All right, so we got the fire going here. Checking out this view. The sun is behind those trees. It's getting cooler out here. I got cell phone signal because of these crazy towers. And I got myself a beer, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale Handcrafted Ale. I've actually never had this beer before. It was at Kroger, uh, so I figured, you know, let's have some beer tonight. Let's have some beer tonight. So we'll see what this one, we'll see what this one tastes like. Let's see, let's see what this one tastes like. Cheers, everybody. Well, it's cold, and that's about it. Yeah, this one's, uh, it's not my, uh, it's not my favorite. But it's something. It's got a very, uh, bitter citrus, I don't know, like, orange mango slice peel, whatever. It, uh, you know, I'm used to, like, like, Miller Lite or Coors Light something like that finest quality maybe it's talking about the glass i don't know this one's got a foul taste maybe i got a bad one who knows all right guys so i'm gonna hang out by the fire for just a little bit dinner right around the corner it is 7 36 like i said earlier we're gonna be making a cheeseburger tonight I got all the fixings. I cut the tomato, the lettuce, the onions, uh, and brought the bread, brought one slice of cheese. Uh, just made it real simple, real easy for me. That way I didn't have to clean up too much, make a big old mess. This fire is really nice. View is nice. I'm gonna chill here for a minute. I'll see you guys when we cook dinner.
All right, guys, dinner is ready. I got my cheeseburger here. Go ahead and give this a shot. Oh man, I'm gonna make a mess, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, mm. That is super good. Got my beans here and my spoon. Had to cover everything up so it would stay warm. As you can see, it's dark. Okay, there's actually lightning. I can see lightning from a distance. So hopefully it doesn't come this way. But also, um, I have this lamp so that you can see me. But a ton of bugs are coming over to it. Moths, mosquitoes, like all sorts of stuff. This smoke is keeping them away from me though. And obviously they're attracted to light. That's pretty much why I'm still sitting in this spot, so. All right, everybody, just finished up dinner. Cleaned up my mess. Now I'm just relaxing by the fire. Beautiful, beautiful night. We're inside the tent, just hanging out. I figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit more before going to bed. I wanted to talk to you guys about that last episode, my last truck camping adventure. And what I wanted to focus on was the last part of the episode, the end, uh, where I had mentioned, um, you know, that I was dedicating that episode to my grandfather who passed away on May 28th. It was a really sad time for my family, uh, you know, really devastating. Um, everyone loved Tha. Tha is my grandfather. Tha, that's what I call him. Uh, it's, it's Cambodian for grandpa grandfather, granddad, uh, my family's Cambodian, so, um, but it was devastating, it was devastating, heartbreaking, you know, so um, losing uh, someone you love is never, never easy, um, you know, the whole family just, you know, everyone was in tears, and so, um, you know, not to get too much in detail about how he passed um, you know he uh, he had some issues um, you know good thing is though he did live a, a long life you know he had uh, uh, you know a family obviously you know that turned into <laughs> me my siblings and my cousins uh, you know aunts uncles so on and so forth but he was an amazing man he was an amazing man. I told you guys that my dad and I used to go fishing all the time. You know, that's what I did when I was younger. My grandfather, he was right there with us. Um, you know, he spent that time with us too. To honor my grandfather, I became a monk for uh, just a day. And I thought that was a really, um, you know, just an amazing way to honor him. Uh, being that, you know, he was of the, you know, Buddhist belief. You know, that's what he believed in. That was his religion. And so I wanted to respect that, honor that, become a monk, um, you know, practice uh, the belief for just a day, uh, chant with them, pray with them, uh, and really, really honor my grandfather during his funeral as a monk, um, you know, to pay my respects, to uh, show him that, you know, he was very, very important to me. Tha, I miss you. I love you. I'm going to honor you forever, and I'll remember you always. Thank you for the memories. It's time for bed everyone. Time to go to sleep. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me this evening. I'll see everyone in the morning. Have a good night. I've been laying on this Hest uh, pillow and this Hest uh, mattress for about two hours now. And it is the most comfortable, 
camping like mattress I have ever laid on like this thing is amazing uh, it does cost a lot of money uh, the mattress is three hundred dollars and the pillow that I'm laying on is 90 but let me tell you something if you're gonna be truck camping a lot and you can't get comfortable and you keep buying sleeping pads or cots or you know whatever the case may be and you know you can't get comfortable in your in your in your tent this is the one to buy I'm telling you right now anyway guys I just wanted to give you guys that update I am super comfortable in here uh, have a good night morning everybody good morning it is about 6 15 a.m. and obviously time to get up cook some breakfast make some coffee you can hear the birds singing today man they're really singing I got up at about I want to say 5 20 5 25 or so and they were just going to town out here. So, anyway guys, just wanted to say good morning. I'm gonna get some coffee, get some oatmeal together, and uh, we'll wrap things up. Bring you guys back soon. Cheers, everyone. Woo, man, that coffee's hot. Woo, but it's good, really good. All right, let's try this oatmeal. That oatmeal's really good. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say bye to everyone here. I know I say this a lot at the end of my videos, but I wanna thank everyone so much for watching this episode and every episode before this one. 
If you enjoy the content, if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more episodes. I hope everybody has a great, productive, and successful week coming up. Till next time, everybody. Take care.